And what a pair. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Are you doing pears today? No, no, what are no. You doing? No, I'm doing peaches. And oh, uh, oh, you see, oh, oh. the pears come from your pear shape. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. Well, I have been eating a lot on this show <laughs> yes. lately. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. I'm Larry Black. And I'm Laban Johnson. And it's so good to see you there in your living rooms. Aren't these or cute? bedrooms. Miss Dorothea has provided us with our, our little pig a piece. Right, pig a piece. And uh, they're mother of pearl. Oh, aren't they a pretty, mother though? Mother of pearl the, finish. I think they're real mother of pearl, too. Uh -huh. None of that fake stuff. You can yeah, see it's just the real. The Sal's pearl. name was Pearl. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Now that's enough. Well, <laughs> we'll get ourselves I mean, we've in been putting them in, in other configurations. These pigs here, are in love. <laughs> Pig love. <laughs> Pig love. Let's get down and get dirty. Well, let's see what it says in the mailbox. I was so glad for Chinese food recipes today because I enjoy eating them. However, I'm uncertain about the egg noodles, raw or cooked. Hmm. Also, ham and pork cooked. Please send recipes. Uh, everything is cooked. <laughs> I don't think I'd want a raw noodle. <laughs> Otherwise, your life will come down with something. Uh-huh. Uh, dear sirs, although you have been on the air for five seasons, this is the first time you have been on Arkansas TV. No. Oh. Mm. oh, yeah, they love us down there. I like your program a lot, <laughs> and I would love to have all of your past recipes and the present ones. <laughs> Darling, we have a, a large man who's going to rupture himself and bring them to you personally. There must be, what, 800 recipes, 500 recipes. Little Rock, Arkansas. And that first thing I read was from Winnie Ann Crawford in uh, Springdale, Arkansas. And this one is from Jasper, Ar a lot of Arkansas oh, letters Oh, they love here. us down there. Uh, <laughs> dear Larry, but <laughs> Larry, my husband and I both enjoy cooking cheap a lot. Mm. Um, I love to cook, and I collect cookbooks. Do you have a recipe for southern burgoo? Why? It's an old hunting stew type recipe. Uh, yes, uh, Duke and Betty Stivers from Jasper, Ar Arkansas, I do have a recipe for burgoo, and you don't. <laughs> But <laughs> and I'll see about doing it on the uh, show sometime. Have you ever heard of a burgoo? It's sort of like a Brunswick stew. No, I haven't. Dear Levin and Larry, enjoy your show a lot, but since I've been watching, all the recipes are extremely fattening. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any recipes that you could make for diets, diabetics, or low-salt dieters? I hope you'll do a show on these recipes soon. Thank you, Sanja. Offenberger of Center Ridge, Arkansas. Well, I, I don't know. I guess we could. Yeah, we probably ought to work on that. We will do our best. And this is from, uh, and I swear I can't read, what is it? Salas, this is, again, this is Salisaw, Oklahoma. S-A-L-L-I-S-A-W, Salisaw. <laughs> Sally saw somebody coming down the alley. Anyway, please send these recipes. I love your program. You all cook like I do. Nothing is organized, and you seem to enjoy it so much. That's the way it should be. And it says, P.S., you always have recipes I can afford, and they're good. That's true. That's why we're called cheap. Mary Roberts of Westville, Oklahoma, has written in. Hey, guys, I've never seen you before. Kind of makes you wonder how she wrote this letter. Uh -huh. But as messy as you are, I now have found someone sloppy as me. I love the P.S. Lick your fingers. I don't care. Oh, and there's one more here. Please, sirs, please, please, please send me Cookie Cheap Recipe 613 along with any other recipes. Would you have any sorbet recipes? I would appreciate some if you have it. Didn't we do that one time? A sorbet or sorbet? It's yeah, pronounced several different ways. But anyway, that's from uh, Plumbing and Heating Company. Wait a minute. That's... Uh, well, it does say plumbing and heating uh -huh. on here. Lincoln, uh, Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska. I got some pipes I need to have worked on, darling. If you could get in touch with me, I really would appreciate it. What? Well, Mary oh, Beth, our chicken here, oh, wants to know. for heaven's sake. When are you boys going to do a chicken sorbet? <laughs> we have reached the height of idiocy on this program. Well, Does it peck? Yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, that's ridiculous. Tag me with a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over onto the set of cooking cheap. What else can we do? And uh, well, you know, I I've got to model is... my fine apron here. 
Where'd you get that fine apron, Johnson? You turn around. Oh, well, I guess they're trying to get you on one of the other numerous cameras. Well, Mr. Bly gave it to me for my birthday. It is real pretty. For my 41 mm -hmm. birthday. <coughs> birthday. That's right. And that lights up. Well, it and is, it let's is a lot do of fun. Pig out. Well, I'm going to do one thing, I'm, I'm, and okay. then I'll get on with life, and I'll let you get on with yours. And leave me alone. No, wait, that is <laughs> what I was going to say. I have a whole chicken cut up, three and a half pound chicken cut up. You can, you can buy it any different way you want to. I prefer the chicken breast quarters. Mm -hmm. But you could get assorted parts, various parts, big parts, small parts, medium parts. Uh, Here's a pretty nice part in my hair. Anyway, this this is what I got. Pretty cheap to buy it this way, folks. You can save a lot of money buying these big. See, they don't they don't have the. I have found something in chicken dumb. <laughs> the more they have to cut them up, the more they cost. Mm -hmm. That's true. And the bigger the pieces, and the more bones you get, the less it costs. So anyway, what I'm going to do is take this out of here right now, and I'm going to go back and wash it. And I'm heating up some margarine and a little bit of oil. It just calls for margarine. But because it was going to be heating for a long time and I didn't want my margarine to go bad, I'm going to put some oil in there. Anyway, I'm heating that up in anticipation of browning this chicken. But first, I have to wash it. And now, oh, I'm going to prepare chicken sherry. You remember her, don't you? Sure. She had a limp. She used to be your secretary. As I, I remember. But she was a good woman. Sent in by Mrs. Mary Burns of Roanoke, Virginia. Mary says she's picking us up real good. The oh, color's been right good, too. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to go back here and wash this chicken. Now, Laban, what are you... F well, I have to tell a sad story oh, first. Oh, no. I'm doing pan-fried peaches. All right. Now, because I knew in advance mm -hmm. that we would be taping this show during the fierce and inclement weather oh. of January, oh, terrible. this summer I put up a whole bunch of peaches, frozen, and I got them out of the refrigerator freezer yesterday and started thawing them out and they've gotten all dark and nasty looking. And I don't know what happened. I wish somebody would tell me. I put them up with just a little, dipped them in water and lemon juice and froze them just like that. And look at that. They don't favor nobody. Well, I think you've changed the molecular structure of them. Bull molecular structure. My, he doesn't know his molecular from a hole in the ground. Anyway, fortunately, one of our fine grocery stores, several of them got peaches right now, which you can get in from South America. So I've got my peaches, uh, and I'm going to uh, peel them and do them, so I'm going to have fresh peaches for this after all. Who would have thought it? I never could understand peaches from South America. Well, you know, because you didn't take Spanish in high school like the rest of us I guess that's did. what it is. But uh, this is a fresh peach. Seems to be a pretty nice peach, even though it did come from south of the border. I think this Down. is a, a Chilean peach. Chilean way. And uh, I'm using a regular knife instead of a vegetable peeler. I probably ought to get a vegetable peeler. <laughs> They're and saying you're a little dull out there, uh, John. Oh, you need to, listen. Need there. to get a little friskier with the program. Here. Well, I could tell about Maureen's wreck. Can, can I just do this? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, care. Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> We're just going to wing it from here on. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got this heating and uh, heating. <laughs> This is not a freestone peak. And I'm going to take this down in here and we're going to lay it down in there. I just ran out of space. How humiliating. Here I am, one wing shy. What am I going to do with it, Johnson? What? That's not a wing. That's, oh, that's, oh, it is. Well, I Good don't have any more room. I'm just going to do the three I got there, and I'll explain the rest to you later. I can't, nothing I can do. Now, salt and pepper that, and leave it go for a little while. We're going to brown it on the outside. It's going to be real pretty. I don't have room for that one. I don't know what, I'll put it in the refrigerator. I promise mm -hmm. you. Johnson, I'll give this to you later on. You can take it home, and this can be dinner. Good. Three. Now, back to you. Because well, that's all I can do until this uh, brown. Would, would you look over there in the... We're just having a hard time today because Doris isn't here. Doris quit. She went on the strike. It's terrible. Uh, would you look and see if you can find a vegetable peeler over there? Vegetable peeler. In the uh, cabinet. Now, the thing you do is you put these peaches down here in three tablespoons of butter. Ask and ye shall receive. Thank you so much. Seek and ye shall find. 
And then in a little while, we're gonna spice them a little bit. Oh yeah, this vegetable peeler will help me to go a little bit faster with peeling these peaches. I'm liable to be here all afternoon peach peeling. You need to fry this stuff uh, on a fairly high heat. What, my peaches? No, the uh, uh, chicken. Chicken. I have to salt and pepper it. Be real easy with that pepper. You don't want to overdo it. And a little bit of salt in there, too. Be careful on the salt. There you go. These, All right. These huh? peaches did not want to leave chili. And they don't want to leave the stone, either. I think that's going to do real well. <laughs> You're supposed to saute these peaches for up to 15 minutes. And they're supposed to get just a tad brown. I believe but I'm losing my mind. I've lost my plate. You put it in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. He is. He's completely losing his mind. Well, first of all, you earlier today. here, just like Playhouse 90, somebody's losing their mind. Well, earlier today, I lost that one in, oh, never mind. Anyway, the one in my head oh. <laughs> comes loose once in oh, a while. Oh, you mean the one with your teeth on? Uh-huh. It uh -huh. comes loose once in a while. Goes These fly. are Ouch. The toughest peaches. What happened? Oh. Oh. Boy, that hurt. Whew. Don't do that. That's not a good thing to do. I think I just ruined my whole wrist career. watch. And, no, it wasn't my career that I that I hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This stuff's starting to brown. It's looking pretty. Oh, this is looking lovely. I think I got this going just right. Of course, I have to be a little nervous when I'm browning chicken around Dr. J because, you know, he professes to be the all-time great chicken browner of all time. Right. You know, he's real fickle about how you don't touch it, and don't look at it, don't get close to it, leave it on for whatever, Just 15 minutes. Just don't mess with it. Just don't mess with it. That's right. So anyway, we'll let that go for a little bit. What we're going to make in a couple of minutes is a little gravy. We'll do that in a minute. I think they could probably play golf with these peaches. <laughs> but these why would they want are, to, Johnson? Are tough. Well, I don't know. Maybe that you know, Chile is that little narrow uh, country down there in South America, and maybe they just have to play with a peach instead of a ball. Because if they hit a ball, it would go out in the ocean. Dumbest Honestly, thing I ever heard in my life. Well, these are the dumbest peaches I've ever dealt with. There's just not much we can do while things are browning. <laughs> Don't we have some kind of footage or something we can show? Yeah. And we got some Let's show that something? picture of the Christmas party where Blab was having such a good time. <laughs> I think I'll open a can while things are a little dull. <laughs> that always works. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey. As you can see, we have an open it, audience. open it all. You know, the crew is so sympathetic today. They really are. They're real. They're nice. usually real nice, but it seems like today they've taken out to be. They love a mean, it when we're out here dying. A mean streak in them today. It's like they're getting us back when we're out here and nothing's going on. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll show them. They think there's a dog gone neat. Now we're gonna turn this over. I, I just know that that wing is gonna stick and fly up and flop me in the face with grease. Put my eye out. Now you see that's starting to get nice and brown? See that? Where is it? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's over here. No, there it is. Um, oh, what, what's wrong? Your finger sore? <laughs> no, they're just signified. I don't think I'm ever going to get to the good part of this recipe. <laughs> now, no, see that's starting to get a little tan on the top? <laughs> Isn't that nice? I a little hope more you're pepper. not expecting us to eat that. <laughs> well, I got the real oh, one oh, okay. in the oven. <laughs> you always got to have one in the oven. <laughs> All right. I know that's why there your wife go. hates you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, now we got While I'm waiting around here, let's pour out a cup of uh, port sherry. Oh. Half a cup of sherry. Two cups. Of, all right. Half a cup of sherry. Well, that's the darkest sherry I've ever seen. You know, I couldn't find there. what I wanted yesterday. I had to settle for this stuff. It was made in Franklin County. <laughs> All right. But I got it real cheap. I had to take it from the Uncle Eb. <laughs> and take it from the plastic tub into this uh -huh. thing so nobody'd know. But just joking. I'm telling you, you these. You're getting so much trouble on the air anymore just saying silly things. Now, what are you, what are you doing now? 
<laughs> Johnson, I've never if seen I, anybody have such a hard time with a couple I of believe these peaches were grown by the communist government <laughs> in Chile. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, no self-respecting farmer anywhere would send out peaches this hard. These babies make a winter tomato look <laughs> soft and filmy. Good grief. Well, while you're doing that, let me go on ahead and get this right. misery out of the All way. Right. All right, now after you've browned this chicken, be very careful. It's slick. As Take what? it out and put it aside into something else. You may want to put it in a baking dish you're going to bake it in. I don't have one. I'm going to bake it in the pan in which I fried it, just like I did at home yesterday. But I'm going to take it out briefly because we've got to do something here. And what we have to do now... <laughs> <laughs> well, that one. What we have to do now is we've got to take three tablespoons of flour. One, two, is that right? Three. Three tablespoons of flour, and we're going to brown it a little bit here. Just in that margarine. You may want to add just a tad little bit of our margarine at this point because we've kind of cooked it down a little. Yep, there we go. Put that in there. And we're going to brown it. We're going to kind of make a roux at this point. Oh, how awful. <laughs> well, we'll be clean, cleaning that camera off for about a week. Anyway, now, you know, the <laughs> secret is here to get it real hot. I have turned it up to hot. If you put your hand in there, you would just be real sick if you kept it in there for a couple minutes. It would just mortalize you, mortify you. Now, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And get some of those scrapings off the bottom there. That's going to give you your flavor. Real good. And don't be afraid to let it sit there and brown a little bit. People get real nervous about this part of it. But you can't make a good roux if you don't brown it a no, little bit. No, you can't, and it'll taste like flour. Seven long minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh, thank God I finished peeling the last peach. Thank Those are the toughest peaches I have ever seen. I cannot say that enough, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> be careful of peaches out of season. I'm just grateful we've made it to the last half of the show. <laughs> All right, now, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> These are so add, awful. Uh, 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 stir well for two minutes. Slowly add broth. You need two cups of broth. That's one of these cans, and then another can of Wawa. Wait a minute. Slowly. Can we do just that a little in slow motion? There we go. There's one. Larry, there's a note on this peach pit. It says, help, I'm being held a political prisoner in Santiago. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Ursel Rich. <Richard. laughs> well, now uh, what else? What, oh, yeah, two of those. And at this point, you also got to add a little sherry. I couldn't find any cooking sherry. Well, What's no. the difference between regular sherry and cooking sherry? None. Regular sherry is much better than cooking sherry because that's... That's that non-alcoholic mess. This is? No, cooking sherry. You don't want to use regular sherry. You don't want to use, cooking sh sherry doesn't have any alcohol, which is stupid because the alcohol burns off. So even if you're a teetotaler, real sherry isn't going to hurt you. Okay, now what you do there is you put that in also, a little sherry, the last minute. This really gives it a remarkable flavor. And at this point, you may want to put a little salt in there and a little pepper. <laughs> to taste. Damn. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse that me. just went all over my foot. <laughs> that traffic jam. How I, I hate to be late. have to edit that out. Hurts my <laughs> the old bleeper on that one. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever heard you say anything bad before, but I'll swear. All right, now what we're doing is heat this up a little bit. To, <laughs> to thicken it up a little bit. We're I trying can't, to thicken this is it up. the worst recipe I've ever been involved <laughs> in. <laughs> Maybe if it were being prepared in season, in the middle of summer, I think you'd well, be me, much I've more. I got to put a tablespoon of sugar in this mess. Well, do it. <laughs> I'm waiting for this mess to thicken up a little bit. Here. And now I've got to put a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, mm. which naturally cannot be open. Good. That was a little bit more than a quarter <laughs> teaspoon. I swear, even the sugar can is conspiring to aggravate me. Two, three. Uh, phew. What? Something smells bad. It smells bad. <laughs> it does. Why don't we look at the recipe yes. while we're waiting for this stuff to get going good here? Grief. Real good. The, the chicken sherry sent in by Mrs. Mary Sherry Burns of Roanoke. 
one three and a half pound chicken cut up. That's a chicken that tells a lot of jokes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Six <laughs> tablespoons of margarine, three tablespoons of flour, two cups of chicken broth, half a cup of sherry. Uh, uh, and don't forget your salt and pepper. Oh, look, isn't that amazing? Remember when that, look at that, Lee. Uh -huh. It's amazing. We're, you're under there somewhere. <laughs> do, do you remember when the, that uh, chicken used to work with uh, Don Reno and Red Smiley? No, I don't. Uh, it was six peaches, uh, three tablespoons of margarine, a tablespoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon makes what we hope will be a respectable dish, but it's looking mighty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the witch? Okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta do one All last right, thing about let me recipe. Don't bring that dish. witch in here until I'm ready. Now, what you do at this point is you take your chicken that's already been pre-browned and you put it in the baking dish, a big baking pan. Or if you want to, you can just return it, like I'm going to do right now, to the gravy that you just made. And you will cover this now, cover that up, and put it in your oven with a, you know, obviously with an oven-proof lid. Cover that up, put it in the oven, and you will bake that 350 degrees for one hour. You serve that with rice. I tried it yesterday evening. It's fabulous. Unlike Johnson's recipe that just doesn't look too good. Uh -huh. to be now I think we're ready for the witch. All right, bring her in. Where is the old witch? She's, she's not moving so fast anymore. You know, her imminent uh, birth uh, of the baby witches is just coming any time. And we do think she's going to have more. It's going to be a multiple birth. Come on in here, honey. Take it easy. Uh, quads. Whew. Quads. Whew. Well, don't, don't want to rustle around. Dear guys, yeah. honey and I are cold. Are cold. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we are freezing our icicles off, which is okay, because when it gets nippy, so does honey. He he he. Sometime we get frozen in, and we just wondered if you could come up with some stuff we could fix when the mercury dips. And it's signed Elwood Morris of Moose End, Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Moose End. I haven't been there in years. Moose End, Great Montana. Place. Great yep. place. Great place. Well, uh, Elwood, we will uh, try to do some cold weather stuff for you next week that you and your honey can have next time you get snowed in up to your icicles. Well, I'm going to get this mess out of the uh, oven here. Gosh. I'll show it to you. It's real pretty. This is the one I baked... Uh, yesterday evening in my home. Oh, how terrible. It's stuck to the chicken. <laughs> oh, the chicken stuck in. Isn't that pretty? That's lovely, isn't it? And it is lovely. It is wonderful. We're going to go over here and splash it down. Oh, I tell you, this has been a hectic day on the old cooking cheap set. Excuse me. <laughs> running around as fast as I can. I'm trying. I mean, I've got less than a minute. And I, here, have a little chicken. Mm. Me too. That certainly is a large piece. Well, it's it's an entire breast. Well, let's see here. I'll try this. Boy, this smells good. Mmm, it does, Laban. How do it taste? It's good. I oh, like it. the chicken is real nice, too. Tastes just mm. like chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This tastes like peach pie without the pie part of it. If you the chicken is, has a good flavor to it. Well, I certainly hope so. It's got all that... Sherry and stuff in Well, there. we gotta go. Bye.